Hi, I'm Mary Hoffman from Synergy Resources. Let me introduce you to N4 Visual ERP. Visual is enterprise software for manufacturing companies. With Visual, our customers improve on-time delivery and have better visibility of supply chain planning, scheduling, manufacturing, scheduling, and execution, easy report writing, and they experience low total cost of ownership. Whether your production strategy is engineer to order, make to order, assemble to order, make to stock, job shop, or mixed mode manufacturing, if you make things, keep listening. From quote to cash and everything in between, including material and supply chain planning, shop floor scheduling, and execution, Visual is a complete manufacturing solution, and we could spend a lot of time talking about the features within Visual. But let's focus on five critical questions manufacturers just like you have to answer every day and how visual empowers you with the information you need when you need it. First, you need to know how are we doing? You need to see at a glance where you need to focus, what needs your attention. Built-in dashboards tell you what you need to do and what you need to know. Next, you need to know instantly where is that job and how is it progressing. Completion meters clearly indicate where you are on this job's path to completion. Do I have supply chain issues? Materials causing risks are clearly identified. Drill into details for everything you need to know about this material, its supply, its demand, any action items that need to be taken can be taken right from here. Monitor supplier performance real time and communicate with them through a supplier portal. Next question. What's going on in the shop? Are we on time? Where are the constraints? The graphical scheduling board shows you all jobs scheduled for each resource across time. At risk jobs, are highlighted. Constraints are revealed along with customer service ramifications. Last question. If you're an operator, you need clear direction. What should you be working on right now? Visuals Shop Floor Mobile clearly communicates priorities to the operator. Select the first job. Start and stop jobs from here, view instructions, documents, drawings, and more. Visual is named visual for a reason. When you visually see and get information at a glance, everyone in your company will instantly know what to do next, and you'll accomplish everything faster. In4 Visual gives you visibility to your progress now. No searching through screens and reports. With visual, all decision-making information is at your fingertips. Now let's take a, a deeper look into each of those five critical questions. First, how's the company doing? The availability of information about all aspects of your business is empowering to decision makers. I like what one of our customers said. Chris general manager at American Products said, with visual, it's like knowing the batting averages of every department in the plant. If you look at the data, pay attention to it, and use those tools to make decisions, your business runs better. Chris uses dashboards to empower the decision-making process. There are many analytics that come with visual, and you can define your own analytics. Use dashboards to see metrics to know what actions you should be taking and follow the information that's important to you, things you should be paying attention to. Drill into details. Here I've drilled into bookings. You can do some analysis straight from here. For example, maybe I want to sort those bookings by amount ordered and oh, maybe I want the order, order amount over here. Maybe one of those larger orders catches my eye. Con with visual, you continue to drill to get all of the information you need. I've drilled into a single order. Now I can see anything I need to know about that particular order. 
documents that are attached, interactions that have happened, approvals that may have happened. I also can see a complete genealogy or life cycle of this order. Here I can see that this order started as a quote and turned into the order we're looking at. I needed three work orders to satisfy this customer order. Something shipped, been invoiced, and been paid, but unfortunately, we've also had a return. All the way along this life cycle, I can drill into any of those details. I might be in invoicing, look at the document life cycle, so that I can see how something was quoted, or be working on the evaluation of an RMA and need to go back and see how something was built. Any information I need, I simply click on to drill into additional related information. Each order, of course, will have its own story to tell. Let's look at another order. This order is still in progress, hasn't shipped. Let's go look at how this order is progressing and see how this work order is moving through our shop. That'll take us to question number two. Here we're seeing a graphical depiction of how this order is to be made with what materials on yellow folders and operational steps on blue and green folders. Those completion meters tell me exactly where I am right now. I have issued this first material. I'm done in the first and second steps, partially done in that third step. I can also see where I am with these supporting subs that we call legs. I can see exactly where I am. I can drill into any supporting documentation, look at things like costs. How are we doing? What did we estimate? How are we actually doing? What's the difference? Let's drill into that variance. There's some variance. Some of that variance is material, and I could go look at those material issues to understand what's happened there. But labor is catching my eye. We've got quite a bit of labor variance here at this step called cutoff saw, so maybe I want to drill into those labor tickets and, again, follow my train of thought. Here are all the labor tickets for this job. Let's drill into just the cutoff saw. Here's what's happened at the cutoff saw, and Ron knows enough to know that when things go over, I'm going to want to know why, so he's given me that information right there on, on his labor entries. Everything I need to know about this job is right here. Drill into the information you need. For example, maybe I want to know more about the material requirements for this job. Now that'll take us into our question about supply chain. How am I doing? Well, here's how I am doing on the materials for this particular job. Here's a quick status. This particular material, I've got some, not enough. I've got enough for this job, but not for everything. Let's drill it a little closer and take a, take a look at material planning and how that supply chain planning comes together. So here on this material that I drilled into, I can see some information here at the top about that material. Oh, it's a purchased material. I could as, just as easily been looking at something I make and get the same kind of information. Skips the buyer. We've got a lead time of 10. We don't carry any safety stock. Right now we've got 46 of those pieces. Well. Down in the details, I can see every order that requires this, not just our order. This was our order, the first one we were, the uh, job we were looking at. But this is everything else that requires this material that has not yet been satisfied. In green, I can see the supply. I have 46 right now. First thing that happens is I need some, so my projected quantity on hand will be 26, theoretically. I need 10 more. It keeps going down. When I get more, when I have some plans for supply, that number goes up. I can easily see visual will point out to me in red where I have discrepancies or where I have problems. It's going to grab my attention with color. From here, I can take the action that I need to take. I might drill into an existing purchase order and increase that purchase order. I might cut a new purchase order or a new work order if this was something that I make. From here, I can see anything I need to know about a particular material. Things like who supplies this part? I have three possible suppliers. What are their quotes? What kind of contracts do I have with them? What are my price breaks? Where do I store this material? Where is it right now? How has it looked over time? 
for usage, for purchase history, selling history. But I have open requisitions or quotes for this. Anything I need to know about this material is just a click away. That's information about a single material. Well, there are reports and inquiries I can do to understand what materials I need to be paying attention to. Here I'm a buyer named Skip. I want to know about any of my parts that are late to be issued or are going to be short where I have a stock out plan. Let's go see if any of Skip's parts meets that criteria. Sure enough, three different materials do. Let's pick on that first one. Then that information comes back to the screen where I can see what needs to be done and take the actions required. When I've done that, I'll move on to the next one on my to-do list. Take the actions required here, and so on and so on. Taking a step back, I might want to look at all material constraints that are causing risk to my schedule. Here are my top 10 in this case. I can then drill into each of these and see which orders are being affected. I might drill from here right back into the details that we're seeing there in that material planning window and again take the action I need to. With Visual you have complete supply chain planning, scheduling, and execution, whether that's a part I make or buy. Let's drill back into the job we were looking at. We'll just do that right from here. Here's that job. Now. Here I can see how things are to progress through the shop. Time to go from one operation to the next to the next. But let's look at how that plays out on a timeline. Here I'm seeing our job and how it lays out over time and when it's scheduled to be in each of those operations. It's just the remaining time on our job. Well, this is one single job. What, how are we doing in the entire shop? That takes us to question number four. Let's view all work orders. Now we can see exactly how busy our shop is. Each of those resources shows jobs that are scheduled to be in those resources with those colored strips across time. At-risk jobs are showing in red. Hovering over any job will give me more information about that job. This red job, if I look closer, that bottom line tells me if I don't get that material sooner, we're going to have a problem. It's currently not scheduled to be here in time to support that job. I can drill into not only material constraints, but also take a high level view of the constraints in my shop. Let's ask Visual, what are the constraints in the shop? Let's go look at the contention for our, for our schedule. Shipping is my biggest bottleneck. What jobs are being held by shipping? Here are those jobs. I can drill into those jobs and better understand uh, those, but this gives me a place to focus. If I were to need to improve capacity or increase capacity, I'm going to focus on these areas first. I can use visual to do modeling. I might copy my standard schedule to a what if schedule, make changes to capacity. What if we work 10 hours instead of eight in shipping? How does that affect my ability to get work to my customers? Create multiple models. Compare them to each other. Here I'm comparing different schedules on the basis of customer service. In other words, how many days late am I in each of those different scenarios? My standard is in light blue. I have a couple of models, one in purple, one in dark blue. I'm trying to reduce the number of late orders. If I were to look at this, I can see that 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 dark blue model is doing better in the short term. I may want to switch by copying that model over to the standard so everyone has their marching orders from that one place. If I need details of any of these, drill in. What remains late? What changes? What orders get out the door if I make those changes? 
What will remain late if I stick with that standard schedule? Notice this is dollarized. Drill from here into details of any of those customer orders or the work orders that are there to satisfy those customer orders. With Visual, I'll not only see my schedule, I'll also be able to drill into and understand my constraints, model to alleviate those constraints, and have the tools to make a decision about the best way to move forward. The last critical question we'll address today is, I'm an operator. How do I know what I should be working on right now? What are my priorities? Visual Shop Floor Mobile gives operators that information clearly. Here's a list of the jobs to be worked on, the work centers I am to be working in. It allows me to start work on that job. Also allows me to go look at any specifications, instructions, um, documentation, Look at documents that are associated with this job. Any type of document can be stored and associated with individual videos, drawings, whatever that might be that this that an operator might need or that I need to memorialize what's going on with this work. So I can log in and out of jobs for the purposes of collecting labor. Shop Floor Mobile manages not only labor collection, job for job costing purposes that also allows for issuing of material, receiving and shipping of material, moving material from one WIP location to another, includes a material handling queue, and more. With Shop Floor Mobile, it's very clear. As an operator, what I should be working on allows me to easily click on that, get any information I need about that particular job, log in and out of that job, and more. I'll leave you with the reminder. With Visual, you get easy access to critical information you need when you need it to perform your job. Follow your train of thought with point and click drill down. Intuitive navigation leads you to the information you need to know. You get information at a glance and visually see what needs to happen. If you're looking to improve your on-time delivery and have better visibility throughout your supply chain, inside your four walls and out, if you need better reporting, easier access to information, and if you need to reduce that total cost of ownership, reducing redundant systems, like our customers have, 